What's going on you legends? We are back with a 2K video. I said a while back, probably about two weeks ago, about uh, doing like a My Career, My Team video for NBA 2K21. Well, the thing is, one, I don't have a lot of cards, and I know that's going to affect the my team. And the my career, I tried a few games out. It was just hard because I just wanted to focus on the game. And I would not talk the whole time. I'd just be quiet or forget. But I thought of an idea of what I would do. And it seems good to me. So an idea, the reason why I'm not playing this is because this is my idea. So, throughout the 2K21, I'll be joining my league. I'll be in charge of all of the teams, but I'm not going to make any trades. I'm not going to make any signings, anything like that, throughout the whole season. And I'm going to like do like a live commentary game. That's why you don't have like these commentators talking. You only have me talking. I just left the fans on to talk, sound effects, and just chatter from the players is all. But I may change that out too. Who knows? But what I plan on doing is a two-game system every week. So either... Probably not this week, as this is going to be out on Thursday in the afternoon as a video. But probably, most likely, either next week or the week after, I'm going to do two NBA games of, like, me commentating the game. So, example would be on 2K21's schedule. And I'm air quoting the schedule because this is basically a copy of last season. So, on the game, they have the first game starting December 7th. And if that's true, that's where I'm going to start off the commentary. So, we will have the Clippers vs. Lakers. And then the 8th of December, I'm going to do the 76ers vs. Celtics. These are in-game dates. These are not going to be the dates that I'm going to make the videos. I'm going to make the videos way before even this all happens. And I'm just going to go on. I have every team I have on here is scheduled at least twice or once. Once or twice as a home team. And either they're scheduled multiple times as a away team. It's just... What I wanted to do was try to start out with like competitive games and also commentate like not not competitive games. For example, like Clippers and Lakers, 76 or Celtics. Those two games are going to be really competitive because they're powerhouse teams. But like the week after, I would have like the Cavs and Bulls. Not saying you guys, if you're a fan of those teams, not saying they're bad teams, but they're not the greatest teams like statistic wise and record wise so that's why I kind of did that there's some games where it's going to be like a little lopsided games but in reality I try to make it to where everyone will at least be commentated as a home team once and I am have all three teams at least once or twice as a home team and if they're scheduled multiple times as an away team, that's just how it worked out. And yeah, so that's what I plan on doing with it. I don't know how I'm going to really do the point system. Because what I want to try to do is try to keep like a track of like points of how many score in a game. But... Yeah, that's just going to be a little hard, not really hard, but different. 
for example, like say the Clippers and Lakers game, I'm live commentating, and say Kawhi Leonard has 20 points to finish out the game, I'm going to have to like keep a track writing it down and also commentating what's happening like live on the court. So that's going to be an old issue. I haven't found a system how I want to do that yet. What I'm thinking of doing is like doing like parts of the video. So like play the whole and they'll all be 12 minute cores will be like an actual live NBA game. It'll just be simulated by the computer playing against the computer and not me playing against them. It'll be a whole 12 minute quarters, all seven game series to for the playoffs. And yeah. So the only thing is the point system, how I'm going to do that. I'll like have like big trade talks at the end of the week or signings that happen at the end of the week. If anything happens, so like the end of 12-7, like 12-8 after those two games are scheduled. What I'm thinking I'm doing is doing like a Tuesday-Thursday deal. So Tuesday would be the Clippers versus Lakers, and then Thursday would be 76ers versus Celtics. And then on that Saturday, I will do like a weekly update, like talk about all the teams that have like their records, who stood out the most that week, who's going to get, who got player of the week, and like player of the month and all of that and like tell and that's what I plan on doing for this 2k series I mean I think I would have fun doing it cuz it's just something new that I have never done before I mean grant this is my first time YouTubing anyways but I've never done anything like that so it's just gonna be something different and I'm just gonna try to make it enjoyable for me and you guys but if I can't then I'll think of something else but I'm gonna test this out and then if it goes good and I want to continue it, I will continue it, and what I'll do is like continue on with the next season, and so on and so forth. So like after this whole season is completed, I'll go over like in the off season, like big free agents like moving somewhere, or big trades that happened, or anything like that. But, I don't know, it's going to be an experience. It's just going to be weird to say, kind of, a little bit. But it's something new. And if you guys are going to enjoy it, let me know by either liking the video, subscribing, commenting about it. Because that will let me know if this is actually going to be a good series. Even if it's not, I may just do it one for views because I know people do view my video not necessarily them liking it but it helps me and it just helps like the YouTube community with people viewing so out of all of this there is going to be 40 Eight video no my bad 52 videos I can't do my math there's gonna be 52 total videos of this because each video is gonna well I lied there may <clears throat> there'll be more but the regular season will be 52 videos I'll do the all-star three-point contest and probably dunk contest in one video do the all-star game in one and then when it comes to playoffs I'll do two videos that week but I will also ch change it up a little and what I mean is say the Lakers are the one seed and they play I don't know 
let's say they play the Grizzlies or something like that. So when they play, I probably won't commentate like <clears throat> that game first. I'll do like more competitive matchups, like the four and five teams. So let's say like the Thunder and, and Rockets are a four and five team in the West. I do that, and let's just say the Celtics and Raptors are the four and five in the East. I would live commentate those two games, and then the next game I would do like the three and six seeds against each other for their game two matchup or something, or like switch up the days a little bit. And then go to two and seven teams, and then one and eight, and just kind of switch it up. And if there's a like game ending decision, I would live commentate it. Or if there's like a game seven, if there's multiple game sevens, I will live commentate it. But all of them, I'm not gonna let all game sevens just be simulated. If there, if it all comes down to elimination games, I'll try to get them all before a team does get eliminated but the issue is I probably won't be able to get them all recorded but I would try I'm gonna try my best if I can so yeah that's what I plan on doing with this 2k21 series let me know in the comment section below if you are gonna th like that idea from me I mean it's just something that I'm thinking of doing I honestly don't can't tell you if anyone else does it like that but it's just something new for me so we're gonna end the video here guys and yeah I it's something new and hopefully you guys will enjoy it I'm think I'm gonna enjoy it but anyways make sure you guys subscribe let me know in the comment section what you're gonna think on this video it will let me know if it's a good idea, it's a bad idea. I mean, if it, even if you guys don't want want that idea, I'll probably still end up doing it just for my sake, just to keep it up there for you guys, just so something new. But I will take your guys' input. But I'm at least gonna do the regular season first, just one season, for sure. But after that, if you guys don't like the idea, then it won't hurt me that much it was just an idea because I'm not gonna have much for the micro or my team right now so I just want to apologize for that anyways guys thank you again your support actually means a lot to me remember to subscribe again and just let me know what you think you guys are legends and I'll see you guys next time thanks guys